Ready? Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Mr. Mayor, First Deputy Commissioner, Ben Tucker, Terry Monahan, Pat Lynch, Rodney Harrison, Fausto Pachardo, many members of the executive staff. Mr. McLeod, the CEO, thank you, sir, for being here with us. Dr. Marcus Little, the head of the ER department at Kings County Medical Center. First, the mayor is going to make some remarks, and then I'll give you the preliminary, and it is extremely preliminary information about tonight's incident. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. We're gathered on a very tough night, and the commissioner and I went to see two of our officers, saw their family, saw the family of the third officer. Uh, three of our officers wounded this evening. The commissioner will go into the details, but thank God all of our officers will recover. A number of other officers came to their aid. Uh, it's another example of what it means every day for the men and women of the NYPD to protect all of us, protect our communities no matter what is happening the bravery that they show constantly. And thank God in this very, very challenging situation, and the commissioner will let you hear just how difficult it was. Thank God our officers came through safely. I want to thank everyone at Kings County Hospital for taking care of our officers. And everyone, look, this is a moment in our history. We got to support each other. No matter what else is happening around us, we got to be there for each other. Our officers protect us. We have to respect, support, protect them. We got to find a way to move forward. No matter how much is thrown at us, the coronavirus and everything else, we have to find a way to come together and move forward. But tonight is a story of bravery, courage, and thank God the story ends with a day soon when our officers will leave this hospital and go home to their families. Thank you, Commissioner. So again, I'm going to tell everyone that this is extremely preliminary information that I'm providing, but this is the best that we know at this point in time. Earlier today, in the Bronx, different hospital, Lincoln Hospital on 149th Street, I went to visit a sergeant from the 44th Precinct that earlier this week, you've seen the video, was run over in a cowardly attack. Still in critical care, in an intensive care unit, but recovering slowly. When I was finished from Lincoln Hospital, I called the lieutenant several days ago. You've seen that video as well. Unprovoked attack by a coward struck from behind in an attempt to bash his skull in. In that instance, too, our cops were arresting looters and other violent demonstrators in the middle of a Manhattan street. It's been a long month for all of us. And now this morning, we're at Kings County Hospital. I'll tell you again, the information is preliminary, subject to change, but one thing is certain. The courageous men and women of this police department that put a gun belt on every day and hit the streets to protect New Yorkers. Tonight, two of those officers were assigned in the 70th Precinct to an anti-looting post to stop people from breaking into stores. It was a post at the intersection of Church and Flatbush Avenue, when at approximately a quarter to midnight, without warning, Video surveillance shows a male walk up to the officers casually, take out a knife, and stab one of the officers in the neck. That officer was stabbed in the left side of his neck, thank God, missing an artery, and is recovering here in stable condition at the hospital. About the same time, a block or two away, what we know at this point in time is that we had a uniformed sergeant and police officer hearing shots fired that were coming from that initial scene, respond quickly to that scene. We believe that when they got there, they saw the perpetrator with a gun in his hand, which we believe belonged to one of the officers. What we know at this point in time is that 22 shell casings have been recovered, 
from a number of members of the service. We know that we had a chaotic scene with a knife recovered as well. In the ensuing, we had the perpetrator struck multiple times. He is here and he's in critical condition. We had two police officers shot in the hand and we had the third police officer that is stabbed in the neck. All police officers at this point in time, thank God, are in stable condition and are expected to recover. I cannot thank enough the staff at this hospital for what you do, not just today, but every day, and taking care of our officers. I'm going to invite Patty Lynch, the PBA president, to say a few words. Thank you. And we will have more information as it becomes available. You know, as I stand here trying to think of what to say, the only thing that comes to mind is questions. Are we surprised? Are we surprised we're here in the hospital again? Did we doubt because of the rhetoric we're hearing, the anti-police rhetoric that's storming our streets? Are we surprised that we got this call? I'm not. We've said it's going to happen. We've said it has to stop, but it really does. All levels have to say it's going to end today and then allow us to go out and do it. We can't ignore the asinine laws that have been passed where we put criminals in and they let them out. That's why things like this happen. It may not be this situation, but it feeds the atmosphere. It has to stop. All levels have to say it and allow us to do it. I'm going to take a few questions. We know very preliminary information at this point in time. I'm not going to get into any criminal history. Uh, information is coming in. That's what I'll tell you, Miles. Uh, information is coming in, and we are actively investigating it, and we are working with the local prosecutor as well as the federal prosecutor, and we will go wherever that information leads us. What we know at this point in time is that it appears to be a completely cowardly, despicable, unprovoked attack on a defenseless police officer, and thank God we're not planning a funeral right now. Exactly my last answer. Extremely preliminary at this point. Information is coming in. We'll have more to say in an update probably later today. But at this point in time, I'll let my statement stand. The men and women of this police department should not have to withstand any more, not one more attack. And it's going to take all leaders, elected officials, clergy, as I said many times, community leaders, grassroots people that live and work in these communities. I think we are all fed up with what we're seeing in many levels. This violence has to stop and people have to speak and words matter. And I shouldn't be at a hospital having the same discussion again. Commissioner, um, there is video of an eyewitness account about protests or about in Brooklyn and Manhattan who are assaulted by police officers. I'm not getting into that now. It's wrong time, wrong place. Uh, do you want to comment? Because it did happen. Stay on this topic. Stay on this. Any last questions? Yeah, and I'm not being evasive here. We want to make sure that we don't put out wrong information. Uh, we have multiple body cameras that are being viewed. They describe a, an extremely chaotic, rapid dis, uh, situation that is dark and unclear exactly what. We feel that we'll have a much better, as the hours progress, what exactly transpired. We, we believe we're going to have multiple officers fired at that scene. We have 22 shell casings recovered. We also have unfired bullets on the ground. Uh, that's what we know at this point in time. I'll take one more. There are no suspects that we are aware of at this point. Outstanding. Last question and then we're done. Thank you very much.